Who wins a fantasy matchup between Bob Sapp and Don Fry? Well, I'm about to do a fantasy fight breakdown, so stay tuned. Hello, fight fans. Welcome back to Fantasy Fight Breakdowns. My name is Damien. Here, not only do we make dream matchups using superstar fighters of today, all the way through to legendary fighters of the past across all combat sports, but we also take an in-depth look at the fight I break it down as technically best as I can to predict the winner and by what method. I myself am a student of MMA and Jiu Jitsu, but most of all, I'm just a massive fight fan like you guys. For those of you who are new to the channel, I suggest you watch all the segments so you can learn how the show works. But if anyone wants to skip to a certain segment or get straight to the breakdown itself without any of the pre fight details, there are the chapters linked in the description below, so click to where you want to go to. Episode number 16, it's another fan fight view request, and once again, I'm doing these videos each and every week. So if you have a fantasy matchup that you want to see me do a breakdown of, if you want to know who would win out of your favourite fighters, let me know down in the comments below right now. Let's get to the rundown. Obviously, in order to do any sort of accurate breakdown of the fight, there needs to be some consistent rules of play. So each fighter has been assessed in their prime years. I have stated what year we've assessed each fighter's skill sets. Every fight is going to be assessed if it's taking place in the MMA style cage and match rules have been taken from UFC 1. This means no weight classes, no timed rounds, no judges scorecards. We're going to take a look at the keys to victory for both fighters before I give my own breakdown analysis of how the fight plays out to predict a winner. Now let's check out the matchup. As we take a look at the matchup card, we can see Bob Sapp listed in his prime in 2007, Don Fry in 2002. Fry made his career beating up bigger opponents who had 30 to 40 pounds on him, but this is a bigger size difference here than what he's used to. Sapp has a 4 inch reach advantage, which will mean a lot if he can keep the distance in this fight. Sapp has the overall size advantage, roughly 140 pounds and 4 inches in height. You can see that Bob Sapp has an overall skill score of 61 points, while Don Fry has an overall skill score of 87 points. If you want to see how I got those skill scores for both of these fighters, I've linked their fighter breakdown videos in the description, so check those out. Now let's go over the keys to victory. In my opinion, it's safe to say that Don Fry has got all the advantages in this fight other than the size. He's just all around a better fighter. He wants to keep patient in order to avoid any bad damage early on. While Bob Sapp, he wants to continually pressure with those big punches to try and score a knockdown and TKO victory. Will the size difference be the biggest factor that will give Bob Sapp enough of an advantage to get the win? Let's find out now with the fight breakdown. Okay, I really like this matchup, so thank you to the fan who sent it in. Don Fry has a better boxing, but as soon as the bell rings, Bob Sapp is going to charge at him like a bull and start swinging as he did in all of his fights. Similar to when he fought Takayama, Don Fry will meet fire with fire and come out blasting punches himself. The first exchanges will be mostly dirty boxing in the clinch before Sapp will have the power to push Fry away to reset the action. I think that Fry will want to exchange in close. He doesn't want to get clobbered in a good range from one of Sapp's hammers. Fry can get to the clinch and push Sapp up into the cage. Push his head up under the chin of Sapp work the body with some knees. Sap should lean his weight onto Fry as much as possible. If Sap wanted, I think he can get Fry down to the ground early via pushing or a slam. If he can get Fry down, he needs to be in that mount position to put Fry in trouble. From the heavy earlier action, both fighters are needing some air and have slowed down. We have to give Fry the cardio advantage, so no matter where this fight goes, he will remain the fresher fighter. Don, after surviving the first two barrage of attacks from Sap, with his solid chin, knows the most dangerous part of the fight is over for him. Once Sap tires out, Fry is going to be in lesser danger. In order for Sap to land that big punch to get a knockdown on Fry, he needs space to really wind up on his punches, but Fry is not going to give him that space. Sap knows the danger of going down to the mat with Don Fry, who is a much better wrestler and a better grappler. It's a low percentage play for Bob Sapp to hope that he scores the full mount if he goes for a takedown. After Fry once again pushes Sapp up against the cage and lands some nice right hands and uppercuts, Sapp will attempt one big pushing effort to get Fry down. They both stumble, but Don Fry regains his footing and is back up to his feet before Sapp can take advantage. Fry is just so tough and fearless. From here, at the 4-5 to five minute mark of the pressing action, Sap is exhausted. With no time to get some win back, for a third time he's pushed against the cage and Fry goes to work. Using his left hand, Fry will pull on the back of Sap's neck 
to keep him in close and use his right uppercut or create enough space and blast in a right hook. Fry is going to take in some deep breaths of his own while keeping Sap against the fence. When the timing is right, holding a body lock onto the cage, Fry will spin around and trip Sap down to the mat, landing on top of him. Out of pure desperation, Sap is going to try to turn onto his side and get back up, which is going to give up his back. Fry can easily climb onto Bob Sap's back like getting into bed, grab his neck, first deliver a few distracting punches to the side of Bob Sap's face before sinking in his second arm to lock in the rear naked choke to finish this fight. I know I'm repeating myself, but Fry is just so tough and fearless. These two attributes are almost the most important factors in this fight. Along with his overall skills, it makes for a very entertaining fight and it's a shame that we never got to see these two go at it in the early 2000s in Pride. But for this episode, Fry gets the win via rear naked choke over Bob Sapp. So there we have it, fight fans. Episode number 16 is in the books with Don Fry as a winner. As always, let me know down below in the comments if you agree, if you disagree. Also comment below if you have a fantasy matchup that you want to see me do a breakdown of in a future episode. Alternatively, you can give me a follow, send me a message on Instagram at Fantasy Fight Breakdowns. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, help me grow this little community into something special. I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. Happy holidays and I'll see you back here next time on another episode.